Hey guys, it's Giovanni. We are at Cedia in Dallas, Texas, and guess what? We're at a tech conference, so it wouldn't be an episode from a tech conference if we weren't talking about drones. This is GeekBeat. Okay, folks, so I'm here with Eric, who is the UAV product manager at Stampede, and you guys are a wholesaler, correct? Wholesale distributor. Uh, wholesale distributor, and I want to talk a little bit about you, about anything that's not DJI Phantom or DJI Inspire. So um, we, we get plenty of news about DJI. We know all about the products. Anybody who pay, even pays attention to tech, not even drones, knows about what DJI does. I'm always interested in what, what, what is in the secondary market and what other tools are available to folks, either same price point, different price point, but what, what other brands are available to people with drones? What do, how do they compare to G, DJI uh, performance-wise and price point-wise? And we're talking about consumer-level stuff, so maybe $1,500 and below. Sure, sure, absolutely, thank you. So um, I think one of the rising stars in the market right now is uh, Unique. Mm -hmm. uh, they are really coming on board. Uh, they're coming on strong. They've grown tremendously since um, CES this year. They were in the background with Blade for a long time. They were the, they were the OEM for Blade, so they oh, were, okay. yeah, so okay. they were there. That's why um, I recognize and, uh, the body style. Absolutely. Okay. So, uh, so they've been doing this for a while. This isn't a new thing for them, mm -hmm. but they're coming out um, strong. They've gotten a $60 million infusion from Intel this year, mm -hmm. and they've also worked to deal with uh, Qualcomm, and next year they're going to be the first drones to have a Qualcomm Snapdragon processor in them. So so what does that give the, the, the drone as, as opposed to one who would have a So uh, just the, the ability to do processing and, and uh, the capabilities now to expand what is going to be done by the drone. Okay. So processing of the video, processing of the feed, stability, all of those elements in the brain of the drone that can give you enhanced capabilities. Okay, and this, so, is, and this is unique here. What do, do they make more than one model, or is this? Uh, they do. This okay. Is, this is their. Uh, this is a unique uh, Typhoon uh, uh, Q500, mm -hmm. and this is a 4K camera. Okay. Um, it's a, uh, a relative price point, same to the DJI in, uh, Phantom 3. Okay. So it's about 1250, 1299 okay. for this. Um, it's got a very nice. Um, display on it uh, and and it works really well I found that it's uh, comparable very comparable in flying to the DJI uh, the control mechanisms are very nice it actually I actually enjoy it a little more than the DJI for its its smoothness and its flying. Mm -hmm. It's not as jerky. Um, you is, know. This, is this a separate price point from the? No, nope, no. Nope, this is all. Really? This is all included. Wow. And so one of the neat things about this is that they have, and I don't have the uh, the handheld gimbal, but mm -hmm. it comes with the system. Is a handheld gimbal, and you're able to no, remove the. 4K camera okay. and put it on a handheld gimbal and walk around I, with I it. I noticed that, and, and I'm trying not to talk about DJI, but I noticed that on the Inspire at CES that had the same functionality. They hadn't announced that gimbal before, right, right. but I saw someone walking around with it and they slipped it up inside the Inspire and I kind of realized what they had done there with the design. They just so released that, so yeah. yeah. But but again, in, in, um, in competition now, this has been out with Unique in the 4K and the gimbal is, I mean, that's just, now you don't have to buy a video camera. You can use the camera that's on your drone mm -hmm. to walk around. And again, for a home inspection, for any kind of personal use, you're not just limited to flying the drone around uh, in the house, you mm -hmm. can then take, for real estate or something, you could take the camera off, put it on your gimbal, and now you're carrying it. So uh, for, from a layman's perspective, if we look at the camera itself, if we were to compare that to the, uh, the 800 pound grill and action cams GoPro, is this the quality of a, uh, of a GoPro 3, a 2, a 4? Uh, GoPro 4. Is it really? Yeah, okay. 4K, wow, okay. 4K camera. Well, I know it's, it's 4K, I'm just, sometimes we, we need to kind of make sure that even though something's 4K and it may not be better quality, right. it's, it's sure. more, you know, sure. so, yeah. um, that it, it's interesting that it'd be, it'd be compared to a, a GoPro 4, so yep. that's interesting. Yep. And you said, so that's right right around $1,300? Yeah, right said? around $1,300. Wow. So for the same price point That is a, a uh, ridiculously good price yeah, point. Yeah, especially for the handheld gimbal. For the gimbal yeah. and for the screen, with, with the controller with the screen on it. Yep. That's interesting. What, yep. else, what other brands would you, if, if you're looking at somebody who would be looking at a DJI Pro, you know, so, so it sounds like you're, you're kind of your first pick would be would be the unique. Is there anyone else out there that you think is kind of bringing it the way unique is? Um, I mean, you know, so 3DR's out there. Yeah. Uh, they the solo. Mm -hmm. um, there's been challenges associated with that. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, we'll see how that goes. Uh, they're starting to come around, but uh, you know, I think the, the push is on uh, for on the unique side, uh, given the money, given the infusions that they've gotten. I mean, Intel doesn't throw sixty million dollars around lightly. Yeah. Uh, so that's a, you know, I think that's going to be a factor. Um, but uh, we'll see how 3DR responds. I mean, I, I like the 3DR stuff, and, and it's interesting because they have, you know, when we saw them at CES, they had a great presence at CES and at NAB. Um, and I kind of wonder what what the issue is with them being able to, you know, compete effectively against DJI. Do you think that DJI just got there first, maybe? Or because um, I don't see anything wrong with the, the 3DR no, the, product. No, the Pixhawk. I yeah. think it comes back to the controller. I mean, yeah. DJI, where, where the A2. I mm -hmm. mean, the, the, their their flight control system is they're they're the market leader because yeah. of that. And yeah. uh, so I mean, and I think 3DR has the has the ability if they focus on what they're good at, yeah. which is the flight control system. Cool. So the Pixhawk. Well, hopefully they'll Pixhawk get that 2, together. And, and and I think that's really where where they can excel is in that you know they can they can take it to DJI with that flight control system. Awesome. So. Awesome. Well, this is Giovanni. We are at Cedia. We have a uh, we're going to have another video with with Eric here in a second talking about more professional systems, and then we're going to talk to somebody from Stampede about some of the uh, issues with the FAA certification things like that. So thanks for joining us. This has been Geekbeat.